let me start. Well, actually, the environment is not so good to me because it's not so very cheap. And it's very difficult to sterilize the, the face. But please understand me. And then now uh, I will apply poet and flow lift to this patient. So uh, she already had a topical anesthetic solution. She's already applied topical anesthetic solution for 30 minutes. But she will uh, feel some pain. So I will inject the, the dental lidocaine solution, which contains a little bit of epinephrine, which can concentrate the vessel. So as you know, the tissue around the forehead is really firm, and there's a uh, rigid uh, retaining ligament. It's very difficult to move the tissue upward. So I applied the very thick thread uh, on the hairline toward the scalp. I uh, usually applied eight, or eight to 10 thread. Uh, I usually use uh, Cogmest gear, which is the strongest one. And then it's not enough to lift the bra. I add some more thread, uh, uh, Cog Pro 3 or 2 because it's relatively thin. Because the thickness of uh, forehead is uh, not so thick, so to, if I use uh, uh, mask here, it's a layer, but it can be thin. So that's why I applied Cold Pro 2 or 3. So I know that it's very difficult to memorize the name of mother. So what I mean, Cold mask gear means uh, sculpted cork, which is the thickest one. Then Cold Pro is uh, uh, cutting cork. Usually the thickness uh, like uh, two zero. Course ma for Kogo Master Gear, it's one zero. Okay, then uh, as I said, it's not magic. I cannot lift the her tissue with one or two thread. So uh, I think I know that the situation in Greece, but we should apply enough numbers of thread. Uh -huh. So uh, can I start? First of all, I should inject more uh, anesthetic solution, supratural clear nerve. It's very painful. I shake the tissue to relieve the pain, but it's very painful. But block the supratrochlear and supraoptic is not enough because uh, there is the supra, uh, the other nerves are from uh, right lateral to the medial side. So use a better uh, insect bore anesthetic solution along the eyebrow and lateral forehead. Painful? Sorry. You do better shake your left hands when you inject uh, the anesthetic solution. Could you decrease the volume a little bit? It can minimize the pain. I know it's very painful. Mm -hmm. And you also block the inserting point. Okay, then it requires uh, around 10 minutes uh, since the epinephrine works. The per, uh, uh, it takes around 10 minutes because if I make a hole now, it plays much, as you know. Uh, then uh, I'd like to ask one thing. Uh, there's many doctors here. So I know that most of you are already using the thread. So uh, who do you usually use cold thread here? Could you raise your hand? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But that's so common. Uh -huh. So uh, which thread do you prefer? When, when you said you use cold thread, uh, who, who, who use a cold thread? Raise your hands again. Uh -huh. So, do you prefer mono thread or cold thread? Uh -huh. 
It depends, I know, but usually. A uh, combine is that the right here because the purpose is different. Okay, so it seems that uh, nowadays in Korea we usually use coastal because it has uh, more strength to collect the toxins because it can physically pull the the tissue. Uh, but uh, be uh, before using the coastal, I also uh, have some peer to use it because I couldn't expect the result. But as you know, it's an absorbable thread. You can. Uh, you, we can uh, easily control the side effect, and there is a layer complication. So I recommend that you uh, use a cover thread uh, easily. And if there is uh, some uh, complications, uh, like uh, dimpling, just loving it, or apply some RF, it's enough to correct, correct it. So uh, don't, pe don't feel any fear to using the cover thread because it's very effective. And uh, because it is loaded on the cannula type, so it makes less bruising or swelling. So pa patients even prefer. Okay, and then okay, I will apply the thread. First of all, I should make a hole because the it's a, because the this thread are loaded on uh, cannula, not the sharp needle. So I cannot make a, a hole uh, on skin with this cannula. So there can be bleeding because there's lots of vessels here. So if you have questions, uh, feel free to ask it to me. I will apply the Coke Master gear, which has a sculpted Coke on hairline first. Okay, can I check it? Okay, so we are ready. So first of all, we should keep pulling the tissue with the left hand. This way. Okay, it's a little bit painful. So I insert the thread along the under the skin to the scarf. You may feel some resistance when you meet, uh, when the, the scannular tape meets the uh, skin. Then I will apply that. Is the pimple? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. So the other side. 
Don't forget to keep pulling the tissue upward. The thread fixate to the tissue, not pulling the tissue. So you should pull the thread by yourself with the left hand. So I inserted uh, eight cogmaster uh, gear on the hairline. Then I would remove the needle, keeping uh, pulling the tissue. Okay. Then we can cut the residual tips. So at this point, you can mildly pull the thread, not so strongly, because uh, without this, the tip of thread can be exposed. Okay, so, so because there's some uh, tippling around here, so you can correct it with the bad loving, but in this case, uh, the, this area, hairline, is not so exposed wide, exposed where, so I will not correct the tippling. It will dissolve in days. And that, as I said, I could find that there's some difference after inserting the uh, thread, so uh, there's a mild lifting of eyebrow, but we can uh, uh, find out a, a great difference. But I will add some more thread from the forehead to the eyebrow again, uh, because the, the forehead has curvature, it's uh, difficult to use a straight needle, so that's why I decreased the distance from the inserting point to the eyebrow. Okay, and then Cog Pro, Cog Pro 3, 8, Cog Pro 3, 8. Okay, are there any questions? Okay, uh, we can correct the, the drooping of upper eyelid with this procedure. Uh, I can easily apply this procedure to the patient who has a short distance between the eyebrow and the, the eyelid margin. So we can uh, widen the distance. 90. I usually apply uh, 70, uh, 70 millimeter longs. Uh, Coke Pro 3, Coke Pro 2, which has a uh, uh, cannula, but in this case, we don't have uh, Coke Pro 2 here, so I will apply the Coke Pro 3, which has nine, 90 millimeter, but it's quite long, but you do better to use a, a shorter one, because the distance between the inserting point to the eyebrow is uh, shorter than 7 cm. Uh -huh. One by one. So the, the same maneuver, I will insert the needle on this point, but don't forget pulling the tissue first. But I'd rather to make a hole a little bit higher. Okay, I apply the thread, same way, first pulling the tissue tightly and insert to the thread to the eyebrow and just twist one or two round, then the, you may feel some resistance and then remove the thread this way and, 
I know you may feel some pain, but it's okay. I will apply it on the retro side. Mm -hmm. Okay, you may appear uh, change of the position of the eyebrow. It's not so dramatic, but you can uh, elevate, the, you can uh, pull the tissue around uh, five millimeter to one cm with this uh, insertion. Okay, and then cutting the residual tip and then Once you insert the needle, you can twist the needle, which helps uh, the thread uh, grasp the tissue surrounding. I know, it's simple. It's almost done. Okay. Uh, I usually uh, put a pillow under patient short to make their head upside down. Uh, with, uh, uh, using the thread, we fix the that kinds of natural uh, appearance. I mean, the, when we bend her neck this way, so uh, we just fix the disappearance because uh, when she uh, get up, the, there's a drooping uh, due to the gravity. So do not overcrack. It's okay. Okay. So it takes usually uh, five minutes. So with uh, mild sterilized condition. So I usually proceed this procedure in treatment room, not uh, operation room. So okay. I, I already completed the forehead and eyebrow lift. Okay. Are there any questions about this procedure? Yes. Oh, we're actually. Uh, so uh, you'd better to follow the muscle, or uh, I usually insert the thread under the muscle, the frontal lace. Uh -huh. In the, uh, and what about uh, when you corrected the hairline? Where do you insert the needle there? Uh, sorry. For the hairline, the one you did before, do you go under? Um, do you go? Which level uh, yes. do you go there? I mean, supra periosteal layer. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. If you have any other question. Okay. You. I can hear you, sorry. <laughs> How long it lasts, this treatment? Uh, we're actually, the lift. as I said, it's very, around three minutes to six, six months because the tissue is really difficult to uh, lift up, so it's uh, shorter than any other treatment on raw face. So as I, uh, as I said, it takes uh, three months to six months. Uh, Thank you'd you. Be, you'd better consider the pro procedure in uh, seven to six months later, okay? Yes, that's the end of the project. Do you have any other question about this procedure? Okay, use. Do you combine? Uh, where actually, you should consider many things. If you inject the Botox, it can, it's not lifting. 
it's a relaxation of frontalis muscle. So the height of eyebrow will uh, go down a little bit. So you should uh, the consider the result first. But uh, in my case, I usually inject the Botox very superficially, which uh, cannot influence the height of eyebrow. Yeah. Sometimes I usually uh, do the procedure with the Botox, but not so deep, superficially. Okay? And uh, I usually inject the Botox on glabella to, uh, to make a wrinkle on glabella, to, to lessen the wrinkle on glabella. So don't forget, if you inject it too, too deep, you will uh, uh, mimic the result of the thread lifting. Okay? Uh -huh. Or, yes, or there's another method using Botox. You may know that uh, Dermotoxin, uh, in that, uh, through that method, we can lift a little bit, not so uh, dominant, but uh, you also use the Dermotoxin method here. Do you usually use that? Uh, you just make a wheel uh, under the dummies, so uh, it's okay if you want to lift more, you can uh, dilute the Botox uh, in, uh, on, on the thermal layer to make a uh, thermotoxin method. Do you understand what I mean? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, okay. If you, uh, I'd like to explain the thermotoxin method first. So uh, I will explain it personally if you want. Okay. Thank you. May I ask you uh, also what, what you said to the patient to do after the treatment? What to do after the treatment? Uh, where to actually? Uh, I ap applied uh, the, the patch to cover the inserting point, and then sometimes I uh, apply the tape to uh, conserve the result of the procedure, and then medication, as I said, do you remember that presentation? Uh, uh, the painkiller, like acetaminophen and paracetamol, which has least anti-inflammatory effect. There should be inflammation to get the result, and then uh, I will give them some uh, antibiotics. And to no smoking, no alcohol, like that, right? Uh -huh. Okay. If you have any other questions, I will complete this session. And then it takes time to prepare the, the second, uh, second uh, patient. I think that it takes about uh, 10 minutes or more, okay? 